Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix this video compressor crashing bug that keeps on giving me this it cannot read, uh, the file that's clearly in there. So what you want to do is make sure that you have the right version of MMD, you just go to MMD's website and depending on if you have a 62 or a 64 or 32 bit, uh, you can just go to your control panel to figure out which system you have by going to your system and system and I have a 64 bit as you can see um, right here so I went down to 64 bit now once you do that it should show up, show up in your file and you can basically just unzip it um, you can use 7-zip I'll put that in the description uh, if you have a 64 bit for 7 or yeah, machine, then you would want to download this version. Uh, if you have 32 bit, you would want to go for this one. So, once you have that, then you want to come down here and you want to make sure that you get the right files for your type of machine. So, because I have 64 bit, I would download these three links. Um, yeah, this is pretty important for most MMD things. Um, what this probably wouldn't fix though is things like effects. Like different DLL files are more downward, so if you're having like an effects issue for your renders or something like that, then you might need different DLL files. But these files should just get the basic rendering some animation working um, and stop it from crashing generally. So once you have that, um, it'll take you to like this kind of page, you would just go to download, uh, get these files, hit next, and it should download. Now, because I already have them, I'll show you what it should look like. Um, you should have this June 2010, this IA64, the 64, and the 86. So you should have these four. And you don't need to move them into your MD application or anything, you can just let them sit there. And that should fix most of your issues. Now, if you want a good video compressor that I heard is better than the built-in one, I can put this in the description as well. This UT video link, uh, you want to scroll all the way down and go to the one with uh, 2.3 million, I'm assuming, downloads, and go to this exe file. And what that should look like is this one right here, uh, this UT video application right here. And then you might not be able to play um, the AVI video. If you don't have an AVI player, I would recommend, and I can put this in the description as well, uh, the media player, VLC. So I will click on this arrow because I have a 64 bit. I want this one. Um, and then once you have all of that, we can go to MMD. So this should be right here. Oh, actually, I already have it open. And then I have this test animation uh, for this video. So that's what we're trying to render. So we can just go to um, render. Oh, and by the way, if your render looks kind of bad, you can go to screen size under view and just change this. I can put the um, common screen sizes in the description as well. You can just look it up. Um, so I recommend some of these. Um, if you don't choose one of those, it might look really funny. So you can go to render, um, funny, wave, you can name it whatever really. I'll just overwrite that file. And then now it shouldn't crash when you go to choose your video compressor. Um, so I guess I'll just choose that one. The box will appear and it'll render. And now we can go to the media player that I showed earlier, and we can now open the AVI file. And our render works. So if you want to convert this to, let's say, MP4, um, media player can convert things, but I find it a little iffy at times. So I like to go to Cloud Convert, where I can convert a bunch of different files. So we want to find AVI. And 
and we want to convert it to an MP4. So I'll select my file. There we go. And it should be converted to MP4. Let's click on convert. And that should convert it. And yeah, you're, you now should have a MP4 render. Now I'll just wait a little bit to show you guys. And you hit play. And now we have an MP4 render. Uh, thanks for watching, and I, I hope this helped you. If it didn't, you might need different DLL files. There is also a hot fixing video. Uh, you can come down here and click on this link right here. Uh, it'll help you troubleshoot your, your needs. So. Goodbye.